Hey everybody, <laughs> my name is April Nicole and <laughs> welcome to Sister Girl Readings, known as Sister Girl Sorrell. I had a whole general reading and it got cut off because of my kids interrupted my reading and you know, I don't like being interrupted. So usually like, it's usually my, my middle daughter Gabriella, you guys know my daughter's autistic so um, sometimes telling her directions, she doesn't really follow them and I have to put her in time out so could be a lot. So meltdowns could definitely stop my reading so um but now that that's under control um we can go back to our regularly scheduled program i didn't finish the reading but i will um edit it and put it up so you guys can see it okay so without further ado um i'm gonna leave that video there because it was getting good but then it like cut off and i had to cut it off and i was like damn so i'm not in that energy anymore i completely changed energies it was good though i'm gonna post it later all right, let's go into Aries, because I know Aries is like, what the fuck is my damn reading, bitch? I know, I'm sorry. Uh. Okay, let's see what we got. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Oh, we forgot to play your song. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a reading, please feel free, feel free to book with me at 702-969-5427. Uh, if you like this reading resonates, leave a comment below. I do read them. I do blog people too. Um, what else do we have? What else do I say? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, oh, yeah. It's a general reading. So, if it don't apply, let it fly. Um, yeah. That's it, pretty much. All right. Let's play you a song, Aries. I hear I make money moves. Hmm. Let's see what we got. Nah, I actually skipped, but I think it was Jane Doe that came out. Maybe somebody thinks somebody's cheating. That's an old ass song. But I did skip and then accidentally went over here. So maybe somebody said, fuck love. I'm about to go to get this money. I kind of wonder what the fuck. I kind of want to go back to that song, you know. Okay, so somebody, somebody's really into money. Or somebody just hit the lottery or they got a whole bunch of dough and they're celebrating. Somebody talking about where they came from, where they going. You know how these oldie, new school songs are. Okay, so somebody's, some dark skinned person came up talking about where they came from and now they in a different place, eight of cups. That is leaving behind something, Aries. What are you leaving behind? That's a lot of cards. A lot of shit, I see. Let's see. Four of Wands, bad relationships. Three of Wands, long distance relationships. Proposals, going out. Um, shedding old negative behaviors and distancing yourself from calamic situations that have to do with love. Five of Cups that leave empty-handed, that you have to leave, that leave you bitter. You want to give and take. You want people to have accountability. Some of you, excuse me, some of you guys can have a lot of mental stresses and relationships just make you feel annoyed. The Fool is like not taking any chances and three, the Five of Pentacles is like reconnecting with friends or having some rebounds. Um, Aries, it seems to me that you're just walking away from love. You feel like you are taking whatever you currently have right now and you're just leaving. I see six turn to nine though. So perhaps on this spiritual journey, even though it starts off peaceful, you still have some fears. And that's kind of why I wanted to play the song before. Okay, so this song is old as shit. The one I skipped, I didn't mean to. Is it let me go back? Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it won't. Yeah, I mean, it won't let me do it. Oh, well, good thing I knew what it was. This song played before I got a chance to play the other one. It's an old ass song.
Might think somebody's cheating. Somebody has phone calls, or active business, social life. Somebody's like, mmm, something don't add up. It's an old song. They don't know who the fuck's between them both. And they think the other person is lying. But you don't really know. Somebody's suspicious as fuck. So either you're guilty of cheating with your spouse or you suspect your spouse is cheating and that motherfucker suspect you cheating. This to me, the Nine of Cups, Three of Wands, Four of Wands, is the irritation that someone is at a distance to you and that they have to come come to you with, on boat, ferry, uh, walking distance. This person is going a far away. So maybe you live more than a state or two over. Maybe they can't get to you as quickly. Um, that could piss you off. Um, honestly, some of you guys are accessing love and are accessing offers, reassessing things and trying to see if it's really worth it. You could be offloading responsibilities and trying to have fun, but you just want give and take. You could be, again, here you are, Sunny Aries. You could be looking for someone who's going to give to you as much as you are going to give to them. And it seems like there's a lot of false starts in your relationship. Um, the six and the nine of swords is like stress as you move on. Maybe you feel devastated that you feel like even though you got the love offer, it came with some bullshit and you had to leave and now you feel disappointed from eight to five. Um, I do see the fool is kind of like you have a lot of regrets. Um, that's what caused your stress. And I do see the five of pentacles and the chariot. Um, someone's moving on. Someone's deciding that something is not worth it anymore. And the five of pentacles is like maybe you're going out and rebounding, but you still have this angry, negative disposition, and, and it's really bad. Hold on, guys. My bad. I, I said it in the last video, or maybe it cut off before it, and I was like, I hate being interrupted. My girl, I got I got kids that my, my teenager be like, I'm like, girl, take your ass out there somewhere. And then my husband don't be listening to his phone, so I gotta like call him and be like, can you read your messages? And he'd be like, oh, can you can you read your text message, please? Yeah, my husband's sleepy, he's a worry. Okay, my bad, y'all, Aries. So the Eight of Cups is kind of like, um, Someone walking away from some shit, they turn their back on something. The chariot and the five of pentacles is like they up. You either you could be rebounding from a cancer, you could be um, you could be asking a, a Pisces to be more accountable. Um, I don't see four of cups in with cancer. I just see or oh, you could ask uh, to Aries to be more charitable to you. Maybe you feel like y'all are not in a relationship, but you want somebody to give and take. But I see a lot of air. Maybe you're moving away from an air sign, but there's definitely got to be some changes because you are going bitter by the minute to have Virgo or a Libra in your chart. Okay, so um, Aries, I'm going to ask about your love life. All right, what is going on for your love life, Aries? You know, look, what's going on for Aries September love life? All right. The Nine of Swords, releasing shit. I'm not going to be stressed out no more. Ten of Wands, I'm reassessing my love life. Three of Cups, I'm deeply unhappy with the things that I feel that I was happy with. Or I worked too much. You know, I'm trying to offload responsibilities. I'm trying to have more fun. I'm trying to get my, uh, my psychological stuff in order. I'm really trying to make different changes. And I'm trying to see things a different way. What's Nine of Swords for Aries? I do see here the Three of Pentacles. Maybe you feel like you're not feeling it. The judgment is coming anyway. So some decision... Some clarity and epiphanies are coming in at rapid speed. It is the energy of Pluto, so there is definitely some awakening. There are trumpets going off in your life and sounds of wisdom, like breakthroughs. And it's like you're just not feeling the energy. It seems like you are just like overwhelmed. You feel like people are trying to be mean to you or competitive with you, or you just feel like it's you you're maybe you feel like you're not healing at a fast enough rate. What is three of pentacles? Someone is not feeling it. The page of pentacles. Maybe you feel like you're giving shitty, mediocre work. Or maybe you feel as if um, you're not good enough at what you do and you have to consistently compete 
Maybe you're trying to be a different person. And let's see, why is Three of Pentacles here for Aries? Why is Three of Pentacles here for Aries? Oh, hold on, wait. Let me. What's Three of Pentacles for Aries? The Sun. Somebody wants accomplishment. Somebody wants fame and success, and they feel like they can't do whatever they need to take to get there. What is the judgment? Damn, a lot of cards. Five wands, though. I'll take these three. Five wands is competition. Um, seven of pentacles and ace of pentacles is work. Someone feels like they, they now know the clarity that they see they have to fight. They got to grow. They got to put in the ground to the ground ace of pentacles. They consistently have to keep like working hard. They're really close to their eight of pentacles, their recognition, and to where they start to see the potential of their work. And they can now feel like they're getting their eighth pentacle from God. But it's not going to come easy, and someone knows that now. So someone could be feeling like they're getting through a fog, but maybe they feel like, oh, my God, it takes so much. That three missing from the seven of pentacles, it's going to take so much to, like, pretty much get further ahead. And they don't know if they they feel like, man, I'm worn. What is the, or it's a lot of people, it's a lot of people trying to take your spot, Aries. What is the ten of wands? The ten of wands is the page of swords. Maybe you feel like you care about what people think or you could be gossiped about. Um, the pain man could be like unrealistic expectations you're trying to reassess or rash actions. Having clarity of mind. Maybe you, um, you're, you're, you could be having some regrets. Uh, the empress is not going out, not doing enough. Again, a lot of failed projects, and a lot of third party energy. I got three threes. That's so interesting. The moon, the eight of wands. You could be in the dark about a relationship where you're not talking to a Leo or a Virgo. But it seems like you are maybe in your job. You feel like you have to travel un unaware. You're not really sure. You're doing some of the Pisces. This Pisces is not talking to you. And they're being childish or secretive. secretive. But someone is in the dark. They want to take a risk. But they feel like something's going to end up being bad. Or someone's jealous of them. Someone could be jealous at your job. There could be a lot of things going on at your job. People could be talking shit. It's a lot of... Temperance is kind of like letting things work itself out. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, someone... You could be not talking to a Sagittarius. Maybe you feel like you guys have been arguing. You could feel like someone's jealous of you. Or you could feel like... Um, you could feel like there was a misunderstanding. It says don't rush in. So maybe you feel like you're not... You're trying to let something just kind of mellow itself out. You could feel like you're falling out with a friend or your mother. Maybe your mother or there could be a matron at your job that maybe you guys don't work together well with. Um, the queen of pentacles can be like someone feeling like they sell themselves short. So maybe you feel like you have to do a lot for a like, own dollar, Aries. You don't have to. All right, let's end this. Uh, oh, wait, wait, your job. Anything else for Aries career? For your career, Aries, I see ten of pentacles, hierophant, king of swords. Oh, you in the contract. Somebody get some money. Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, King of Swords, someone signing a deal of a lifetime. So I told you, you ain't got to worry about it. That's why I said, fuck that public announcement shit. Ace of Wands. Ooh, Nine of Cups. Somebody is really going to make it. Look at this. And the Nine of Cups came up right. It was reversed, but it came up right. Someone is going to get a dream of a lifetime. Look at this creative project. Look at this Nine of Cups. Look at this enjoyment, satisfaction. Look at this. Somebody is going to do something artistic or dreamy, a book or some type of song. Someone is propelling, but someone is still angry. Why is this Queen of Swords angry? It could be you could be married to this woman. Uh, temperance is here. Somebody is upset. Up. Uh, let's see. The two of one, uh, three of wands at a distance. Somebody, maybe someone has some issues they want to make up, or they have some. They, their, their intuition is kicking at them or they don't want to say anything. They're repressing some type of emotions. They want to talk to someone, but they don't. It could be a Sagittarius or a Leo or a Virgo or a Pisces. But somebody wants to talk to somebody or Aries. Someone wants to talk to somebody at distance and heal a situation with a Virgo or a Sagittarius or a Pisces. Um, that's why somebody is sad. They're not expressing their truth. They're keeping their stuff hidden. They don't want to say anything. I um, don't really know how it's going to help. What's the relevance between the king and queen of swords? That's so separated. Like somebody is far away. Let's see. The two of wands are decisions. And somebody or or two of wands can also be choices. 
Why is what what is what is two of wands have to do with it? The death card. Something ending. Someone deciding to end something. The like the horse has their back to the two of wands. So someone made a decision behind someone's back to end something. That's why the Queen of Swords is like she's leaving the relationship. Devastated. Yeah, like the page of wands, something was unfinished. It's an irritation. Someone has to let things work themselves out. It could be double sad. It really could be. Someone is doing some very fucked up things, but like it, like it says, what goes around comes around. Y'all don't worry about that. But there's definitely getting somebody, somebody's getting some money. And they're going to end up leaving a situation. So be careful. All right, guys. Um, Yeah, somebody's getting a deal of a lifetime. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Um, It's been my pleasure to read for you. And I will see you guys later, Aries. Bye.